Hello. Great that you are interested in our Zeta view. My name is Christina Klaasen and I'm working as a sales manager for Particle Metrics. With this video, I would like to show you how our Zeta view nano tracking analyzer can support you to explore the complex world of nano vesicles. We are convinced that seeing is believing and therefore we developed a video microscope which makes extracellular vesicles visible. After injection of your sample into the measurement chamber, you can instantaneously see your particles in the ZetaView software. The concentration is measured steadily. By following the Brownian motion of the particles, the size of in each individual particle can be analyzed. Therefore, a measurement can be started by a click in the software. The ZetaView automatically analyzes 11 discrete positions within the measurement cell to obtain a valid and statistically robust result with more than 2,000 analyzed particles in less than one minute. After each measurement, an automated report is created by the software. But we want you to analyze the data with the software you prefer and therefore the data can be exported in text form for analysis in Excel or MATLAB or in flow cytometry standard form for analysis in Flowjo or FCS Express or any other FCS compatible software. Since the Zeta view can export data in FCS form, we can build up dot plots for further analysis, like evaluation of subpopulations. A lot of different variables can be chosen. Since fluorescence labeling of different proteins or structures is a useful tool for vesicle characterization, we optimize the ZetaView for fluorescence measurements. In our latest ZetaView quad model, we integrated four lasers from violet to red to be able to use the full bandwidth of fluorophores. The fluorescence filters can be chosen by a click in the software. As a standard, we built in a long pass filter for each laser, but customized solutions with band pass filters are possible. Please get in touch to discuss your application. As an additional measurement parameter, the Zeta view can analyze the Zeta potential of vesicles, describing the surface charge and giving thereby information about the surface protein and lipid structure. More information or publications on that topic can be found on our website. To deal with low sample volume and low vesicle concentration, The Zeta view can already work with a concentration of only 10 to the power of 5 particles per mil. In case you want to recover your sample after measurement, no problem. We can equip your system with a measurement cell, which makes recovering easy without mixing with any kind of buffer. To show you the Zeta view in operation, I prepared a four-fold staining of platelet-derived exosomes with four different antibodies. I choose the three exosome markers CD9, CD63 and CD81 and the platelet marker CD41. I use the label Alexafluor488 for the blue laser coupled to anti-CD41. For the green laser, I choose Daylight 550 coupled to anti-CD63. For the red laser, Alexafluor647 coupled to anti-CD81. And for the violet laser, again an Alexafluor dye, in this case 405, coupled to anti-CD9. After injection of the sample into the Zeta view, we can see all our particles in the scatter mode. By one click in the software, we can switch to fluorescent mode. After increasing the sensitivity, we visualize now all particles which were stained with the CD41 Alexafluor 488 antibody because we are using the blue laser with the fitting fluorescent filter. By another click in the software, we can activate the green laser showing us the CD63 positive fraction. With one more click, we can change to the red laser and the CD81 positive fraction. And last but not least, the violet laser with the CD9 positive fraction. By measuring all these channels, we can learn a lot about our sample. In case you want to learn more about the Zeta view or possible applications, we are happy if you get in touch with us. We are offering the possibility for on-site or virtual demos and of course we offer application support as well. Thank you very much for visiting our virtual booth here at the ISEF. I would be happy to meet you next time in person again. Bye!